Hey, good morning. I'm horticulturist Gary Bachman, and it's time for another daily dose of hort. Remember yesterday, we were out in the um, little free garden and all the herbs, and I was showing how easy it was to, to harvest herbs. You know, sharp scissors, don't cut them back so far that they won't regrow, and it's easy as that. Um, and I promised I was going to show you how we preserve the herbs for you know winter use here at the um, urban nano farm. So we're, obviously we're in the nano farm kitchens here and I'm going to show you how I preserve and I like to dehydrate. Some people freeze, some people put them in ice cubes. I like to de dehydrate because then we can we can get those herbs and we can and we can store them in mason jars. Um, with a um, little bit of a desiccant pack on the inside to keep the uh, to keep the moisture at bay. So, anyways, let me go ahead and first talk about dehydrators. If you're going to do herbs, this type of dehydrator really isn't going to work. It operates at too high a temperature. If you're dehydrating herbs, you want to do low temp. I like to do like 95 degrees. And it, it may take a day or two to get the herbs, you know, completely dry. But what it does, it preserves the color. If you do them at too high a temp, they turn gray. And it's not really very appetizing. So I've been running the dehydrator here. And what I did um, with this, in this model, this is a six tray model, uh, eight tray model, excuse me, has a thermostat on it so I can precisely control that temp. And here's the, um, the uh, sage that I, I dehydrated you know, over, the, over the last couple of days. And you can tell when it's, when it's dry because it, you hear, hear that crunch? And, and so to, to do that, it, it's real, really very easy. Just take a tray. And I like to pull the, the leaves off. Sometimes I'll even um, remove the petiole just because that's kind of a fleshy um, part of the, um, of the sage and it just takes longer to dry. So, you know, you know, so take those stems out of there, but it's just, just as easy as this and just take them off, put them on, put them on your, put them on your tray and pop this. We'll put this back into the dehydrator. You know, we can turn it on and then you know in a day or so we'll have some nice dry sage where can you get these i got this model at bass pro shops and you know they're using it for jerky but it works really well set at 95 degrees to dry your herbs so anyways oh and there's there's one more thing that i i need to need to tell you a lot of folks because we we grow a lot of herbs and we like to use fresh herbs a lot of people don't understand when you're using fresh herbs you need to use three times as much than you do a dry herb so here here's oregano and over here on this side that's one tablespoon of fresh and over here on this side that's one teaspoon of dry and you get the same flavoring profiles from those amounts so you just got to remember that three to one when you're using fresh versus dry so anyways thanks for joining me today and i hope to see you tomorrow for another Daily Dose of Hort.